Sri Lanka contributes 1.5 million capital to the Commonwealth Small State Trade Finance Facility. Finance Minister Mangal Samarweera has said Sri Lanka Tushani De Silva, age 29, was a resident. According to the department, showers may occur in the southern, eastern and southwestern coastal areas. Heavy falls of about 100 millimeters can be expected at some places, particularly in the western, northwestern, Sabaragamwa, south and central province. A very good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime News on TV1. We're coming to you live and direct from the News First studios here in Colombo. Let's first start off with a look at the stories that made it to your headlines this afternoon. Sri Lanka contributes 1.5 million capital to the Commonwealth's small state trade finance facility. World's longest and heaviest aircraft lands in Mattala. Bank robbery in Sidua. Starting off with your lead story this afternoon, an innovative way for small states to obtain easier access to international trade finance has been launched at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London. India, Sri Lanka, Mauritius and Malta have provided 5 billion US dollars of capital to the scheme called the Commonwealth Small States Trade Finance Facility. Speaking at the roundtable event, Sri Lankan Finance Minister Mangala Samaravira has said Sri Lanka is committed to preventing financial crime. Finance Minister Mangala Samaravira has said Sri Lanka has long identified the risk of financial crime as a priority area. Given the country's history in battling a sophisticated terror organization, addressing terrorist financing has long been on the agenda. Speaking further, Minister Samarira has said the challenge for countries like Sri Lanka is how to ensure continued progress of financial inclusion in the context. He has further said at more micro level, one of the major objectives of our government embodied in the 2018 budget themed Enterprise Sri Lanka is to empower entrepreneurs by providing access to finance. Former Microsoft CEO Bill Gates, now focusing on his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, spoke on the importance of collaboration and sharing during his keynote address at a joint plenary session of Commonwealth Summit. While Gates praised Commonwealth collaboration, he urged private enterprise to invest more in developing areas of the world. Bill Gates spoke about the health sector in Sri Lanka as well. Collectively, Commonwealth nations are experts in far more than just polio eradication. Uh, nobody in the world does better in education than Singapore. Uh, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka have built very high quality primary health care systems staffed primarily by women health workers, a model that other countries are following. <clears throat> the island states of the Caribbean, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean have helped the world take climate change seriously and commit to substantive action. Meanwhile, Australia, Canada, India, and the United Kingdom have pledged to double their energy innovation budgets so we can meet the challenge of climate change without denying the poorest access to the energy and electricity that they deserve. The United States of America has reauthorized U.S. GSP facility for Sri Lanka from the 22nd of this month. Issuing a communique, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce said President of USA, Donald Trump, has decided to grant the GSP facility for 120 beneficiary countries. Considered the world's largest cargo aircraft, an Antonov AN-225 Maria has landed at the Matala Airport refueling. The Antonov AN-225 
5 Maria is the strategic aircraft, cargo aircraft. The aircraft, which weighs 700 tons and landed at the Matala Airport while en route to Karachi from Malaysia. The aircraft that is equipped with six engines is due to travel back to Malaysia tomorrow. Moving on in more local news, an actress is drowned while swimming in the Kalinu River in Yatimbara, Ginigathena. Tushani De Silva, age 29, was a resident of Suduhumpola Kandy. She is a mother of one. She has drowned while she was on vacation with her family. I told her not to go beyond the stone. She went and bathed there. Then she turned back and shouted. Then I shouted and asked the people in the hospital to come and help. She waved her hand twice and that's all I saw. The Ginigathena police said the area that the victim was swimming in is not suitable for swimming. Tushani De Silva was featured in a number of teledramas including Monarchirili, Himansi, Rajadarwo, Uncle Sam and Swarnapali. An individual who arrived on a motorbike has robbed a private bank in Sidhua. According to police, the robbery had taken place at about 9.05 this morning. The value of the stolen money from the bank has not yet been calculated. The Sidhua police are conducting further investigations into the incident. The Met Department predicts showers or thunder showers at several places in most provinces of the island after 2 p.m. According to the department, showers may occur in the southern, eastern and southwestern coastal areas. Heavy falls of about 100 millimetres can be expected at some places, particularly in the western, northwestern, Sabaragamwa, south and central provinces. The news first, gum at the Rajarata Helasiri Bakmaha festival commenced at the grounds of the Sumanavidyalaya in Bellankaravala this morning. The bicycle race started as the first event of the Bakmaha festival at 7 this morning. A large number of area residents, invitees and News First staff are at the Sumanavidyalaya to participate in the Bakmaha festival. The events of the News First Gum at the Rajarata Hela City Bakmaha festival will be held throughout the day today. <laughs> Now joining us with the details of the festivities from Bellankadavala is News First Ramesh Irugal Bandara. Good afternoon, Ramesh. Good afternoon and welcome to the Suman Mahavidyale in Bellankadavala where the News First out of the festival is currently happening. We started this morning's proceedings at around 8.30 and uh, it's continuing throughout the day. It's continuing well into the night as well with uh, a musical performance by the Galaxy's band. Uh, if you are in and around Bella Carnival, if you are in Hubbard and if you are in Double, pop over to the Super Mario It's about a 10 kilometer drive and come and enjoy the festivities along with News First. I'm Ramesh Rukal Bandara, reporting for News First from Bella Carnival. That's all the news we've got for you this afternoon. To follow details of these stories and more, you can log on to our website, www.newsfirst.ok. I'm Charlotte Benedict for the News First team. Your latest news update will come your way at 1.55. Good day. Yeah.